Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Haley. I'm Haley, and this week I'm going to lead you through a five poses yoga practice that you can do in the middle of your work day or maybe at the end of your work day to counter sitting. Let's get started. So this is a quick practice that you can hopefully fit into your work day or do this as you arrive home from work to counter sitting. I've chosen my five favorite poses to counter sitting and help you to also refocus in the middle or at the end of your work day. You don't need any props for this, just some space to lie down and stand up. And we're going to start from lying down. We're going to go through hips, back and shoulders in this practice. And we're going to start from the hips, opening the front of the hips. They can get really quite tight and tense if we spend a lot of time sitting. So come lie down on your back and have your knees bent, feet roughly hip width apart. And then bring arms either down next to your sides or to create a bigger opening in the shoulders already here, open arms into a cactus shape next to your shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, press down through the feet and lift your pelvis, your back off the mat. So you're opening the fronts of the hips. You get a back bend as well, but now focus on that opening along the front side. Inhale here, and then with the next exhalation, lower down. Bring your back, bring your pelvis on to the mat. Inhale, same again. Exhale, press down through the feet, open the front of the hips as you lift the pelvis, lift the back off the mat. Inhale up there, and exhale. Exhale again, lower the back, lower the pelvis down. We'll do one last round. With your next exhalation, lift your pelvis, lift your back off the mat. And this time we stay here just a bit longer. Now, if you want, you could slide your arms under your back and interlock fingers under the pelvis. Walk shoulder blades just a bit closer together creating a different kind of opening in the shoulders, across the chest. Breathe in and out. Feet still pressing down. And then exhale, release the pose. Release the arms, the back, the pelvis down. And we still stay lying down on the back. Now we come into a twist. Open arms back out to the sides, either cactus shape or T shape. And first, swing the legs from side to side. So you start to feel that twisting in your back. And then next time, when you bring your legs to your left side, leave your legs there. Either keep your legs wider apart or slide your right knee on top of the left knee. That might bring a bigger twist into your spine. So now our second movement is this twist. You could use your left hand on top of the right knee or thigh to gently, gently press the legs down towards the mat. So it's a twist for your spine, but you might feel a big opening in your chest, in your shoulders as well, especially in that right shoulder. Maybe the outside of the right hip gets a bit of a stretch here. Take another breath in and out. So we're getting to all those areas that might get quite tight sitting. Deep breath in and out. Next exhalation, release the twist. Come back to the center, lift the knees up towards the ceiling. And then lower your knees, your legs to the right side of the mat. So 
arriving into that twist on the other side again. You could have your legs wider apart. Or on this side, you could slide your left knee on top of the right knee. Right hand could be on top of the left knee or thigh, just to ground the legs down. And we try to keep that left shoulder open so we could get into the shoulder chest area as well. And breathe in and out. It might be that the left shoulder comes off the mat. That is very fine. You don't have to force it down. Especially if there is tightness in the chest area. The shoulder might easily come off the mat. Take another breath in and out. And then we're going to keep the knees where they are and exhale, close the chest. So you curl towards the knees onto your right side. And then from your right side, bring yourself up onto all fours, onto hands and knees. So that your hands are roughly under your shoulders, knees roughly under your hips. And now we continue moving more through the spine, cat cows. Toes could be tucked under or you can release the toes. Your next breath, round your spine up towards the ceiling. So third movement goes into rounding and back bending the spine. Next breath, we arrive into the back bend, opening the chest, turn your tailbone up towards the ceiling and again next breath round your spine and tuck your tailbone under bring head down chin towards the chest and next breath open the chest you find the back bend tailbone lifting up opening towards the front of the mat one more round Start to round the spine, bring head down, chin towards the chest, tailbone tucking under. This is the cat pose. And last time, the back bend, opening the front line. You breathe more towards the chest. And then find a neutral spine. We're going to come into our fourth movement, a full forward bend. So, Maybe step hands a bit further forward, tuck the toes under, lift your pelvis up, and as you bring your weight onto your hands and feet, start to walk hands and feet closer together so that you could shift all the weight onto your feet and exhale, round the back down, bringing chest closer to the legs, and make your hands light here. If you want, you could hold your elbows in front of the legs, or you could just hang your hands and arms down. Knees can be as bent or as straight as feels good for you now. So now we're opening the whole back line of your legs, of your spine, so we're opening those tight areas of hamstrings, buttocks, the back side of the spine that can get really tense if we spend a lot of time sitting. And also releasing the neck. So really let the gravity pull your heavy head down, lengthening the spine down towards the mat, releasing pressure in the neck. Take another breath or two in and out. If you start to feel really strong, stretch, bend your knees a bit more. And then slowly, if you have your legs straight, bend the knees and start to roll the back up and walk hands up along the legs. You're supporting your back as you walk up, as you bring your back up. Open the chest, roll the shoulders a couple of times. And then we have our fifth, our final movement, which is going to be a balancing pose. 
to focus our mind. At the end of this five movement, five poses practice, we come into tree pose. Bring your weight onto your left foot and lift your right foot off the mat, opening the right hip so that either you bring your right foot next to your left ankle, you can keep the toes on the mat, or you could lift your right foot somewhere onto the inner shin under, the, under your left knee, or even help with a hand to bring your right foot onto the left inner thigh. Bring your palms together and now focus your eyes onto something that is not moving, lightly pressing the palms against each other. Focus your mind to stay in that balancing pose. At any point, you can bring your right foot toes back on the mat. Breathe in and out. Focus on calm, slow breaths. One more breath here. And then slowly, slowly release your right foot down, release the arms down. Move from one foot to the other. And we're going to do the same on the right leg, right foot. Again, bring your, bring your mind into this pose. Focus your mind. Make your left foot lighter and then open your left hip. So that you bring your left foot either to the inside of the right ankle, next to your right shin, or lift your foot above the knee onto the inner thigh. Just Avoid the knee. Don't push your foot into the knee. Bring your palms together. And again, focus your eyes onto one spot. Something that is not moving. Gently lengthen your back up. And then breathe. You could count three slow Calm breaths in and out. Keeping yourself steady on your right foot, keeping your mind focused, steady in this tree pose. And after your three slow breaths, Slowly release that left foot down. Release your arms. And again, move the weight a bit from one foot to the other. Now roll the shoulders, open your chest. And here we are at the end of our five poses practice, ready to continue the day. I hope you feel a bit more open, a bit more focused, relaxed, and I wish you a wonderful day after this. Namaste. Thank you for joining in. Thank you so much for sharing this time together with me. If you enjoyed this practice, please give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And also subscribe to the channel. There will be more and more yoga related videos coming every week. And if there's anyone you think might enjoy this practice, please share this video with them as well. It really helps the channel to grow. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!